What's up guys, Intentional back with yet another video, and today I figured we'd take a look at Beastmaster Hunters and TBC. Now, I won't be going in-depth into spreadsheets or min-maxing guides, so this will simply be an overview of the spec as a whole. But that being said, let's just hop into it. Now, this is the talent build you want to go with. Now, we won't be going over every single talent, but let's take a look at some notable ones. Focus Fire. All damage caused by you is increased by 2% while your pet is active, and the critical strike chance of your kill command ability is increased by 20%. Animal Handler. Increases your speed while mounted by 8% and your pet's chance to hit by 4%. Ferocious Inspiration. Whenever your pet crits, all party members have all damage increased by 3% for 10 seconds. Serpent Swiftness. Increases range attack speed by 20% and your pet's melee attacks by 20% as well. Rapid Killing reduces the cooldown of your rapid ability by 2 minutes. In addition, if you kill an opponent worth XP or honor, your next aim shot, arcane shot, or auto shot causes 20% extra damage, and this lasts for 20 seconds. The Beast Within When your pet is under the effects of Beastual Wrath, you also go into a rage causing 10% additional damage and reducing mana cost of all spells by 20% for 18 seconds. While in range, you do not feel pity or remorse or even fear, and you cannot be stopped unless you get killed. That might be the most alpha talent in TBC, and I think it's fitting because out of all the specs I've looked at so far, the Hunter has for sure had the most added talents with the majority just adding more damaging effects or just straight up damage. Okay, moving on to the rotation. Yes, there is a simple macro you can use, and honestly, it's very straightforward. But there are actually other macros that you can delve into to increase damage, but these can be dependent on your haste slash gear setup to make sure not to clip your auto shots. So we're going with the simple one for this video. Starting out, have Aspect of the Hawk on and maintain Hunter's Mark on the target. Next, just spam your macro. If you have three more targets, then use Multi-Shot, and don't forget to use your cooldowns. If you get low on mana, then switch the Aspect of the Viper. If your pet gets low, then use Men Pet. Before moving on to stat priority, let's talk about pets for Hunters. The best are going to be Ravagers, Cats, or Scorpions. Moving on to stat priority, you want to hit your 9% hit cap first. Then it goes Agility, Attack Power, Crit, Intellect slash MP5, and then Stamina. Following the stat priority, these are the gems you'll want to aim for. Same thing goes for your Enchants. And these would be the Consumes you want to get. As far as Professions, you look at Leatherworking because not only do you get the drums, but you get some very nice gear throughout your TBC journey as well. For your second Profession, you could go with Engineering for even more utility, and you can get some nice gear as well as Weapons. Jewel crafting is a good choice for some nice pieces, along with some exclusive gems. Enchanting is always a good choice for the ring exclusive enchants. Hunters in general are looking very solid in TBC, and if you're looking to roll one, well, I'd say this is the better expansion to do so. Hopefully this video helps someone out there, and if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, it really does help me as a content creator. And if you want to see more from me, then hit that sub button. Hope you guys have a good one, and peace!